In this video, we will learn about the interface of MS Excel which is included in Microsoft Office 2021. If you are using an older version of MS Excel like 2010 or 2016, you will find some differences in the overall layout and ribbon tabs and groups. When you open Excel 2021 for the first time, the Excel Start screen will appear. From here, you can create a new workbook, choose a template or access your recently edited workbooks. A file in Excel is called a workbook. Once you create a new workbook or select a workbook to edit, the MS Excel window is launched. Let us now see the main components of Excel window. The title bar is a bar located at the topmost of an Excel window that shows the name of the Excel file or workbook. There is a button group on the right side of the title bar. There are four buttons in this group. Ribbon display button is used for changing ribbon displays in a drop-down menu. The minimize button stores the application program at the bottom of the screen on the taskbar. The maximize button fills the entire screen with the document. And the close button closes the window. This is the sign in option. A Microsoft account is usually required to install and activate Office versions 2013 or later. The ribbon contains all of the commands you will need to perform common tasks in Excel. It has multiple tabs, each with several groups of commands. File, Home, Insert, Draw, Page Layout, Formulas, Data, Review, View, Help and Tell Me are the tabs in the Excel ribbon. You can adjust how the ribbon is displayed with the ribbon display options. The dialog box launcher is a small arrow in the bottom right corner that gives more options on clicking. This is the quick access toolbar. It lets you access common commands no matter which tab is selected. You can customize the commands depending on your preference. It can be located in one of the two places. Upper left corner above the ribbon, which is the default location, or upper left corner below the ribbon. If you don't want the quick access toolbar to be displayed in its current location, you can move it to the other location. To move the Quick Access Toolbar, click the Customize Quick Access Toolbar button image. It is located on the right end of the Quick Access Toolbar. At the bottom of the list, choose either Show Below the Ribbon or Show Above the Ribbon as appropriate. To add your most used commands to the Quick Access Toolbar, click on the drop-down arrow next to the quick access toolbar. Click on the desired command option to be placed on the quick access toolbar. Each workbook in Excel is made of worksheets. A worksheet is a grid-like area in the middle of the Excel window. It is in the worksheets that we enter all the data. A workbook has several worksheets named as Sheet 1, Sheet 2, etc. You can add these worksheets to your workbook by clicking on this plus symbol near to the sheets. Please note that only one worksheet can be active at a time. An Excel worksheets 
stores the data inside rows and columns. A row is a horizontal rectangular region that extends across a worksheet. The rows are identified by numbers and are marked as 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. A column is a vertical rectangular region down a worksheet identified by a letter such as A, B, C, D or two letters such as AA, AB, AC, AZ, BA, BB and so on. A cell is a small rectangular area formed at the intersection of a row and a column. A unique cell address is formed by the combination of row number and column header. By clicking on the cell, it becomes active. For example, the address of the cell is C2, where C is the column and 2 is the row number. The address of the currently active cell is displayed in the name box. The cell pointer is a highlighted cell boundary that shows which cell is active at the moment. A bar where we can type formulae or edit the contents of a cell is called the formula bar. It displays the contents of an active cell. These are the scroll bars. The scroll bars allow you to scroll up and down or side to side. To do this, click and drag the vertical or horizontal scroll bar. The Tell Me box works like a search bar to help you quickly find tools or commands you want to use. Type the first few letters of the command you're looking for in the search box at the top of the Tell Me menu. Now, click the command you need or use the arrow keys to select it and then press Enter. This is the status bar. You can select different worksheet views and zoom in and out on the worksheet from the status bar. There are three view buttons on the bottom right of the status bar. In Microsoft Excel, the view buttons are a feature that allows you to modify Excel window. There are normal view, page layout view and page break preview. Zoom control is a slider that lies next to view buttons at the right end of the status bar. You can use the minus and plus symbols in the status bar to rapidly zoom the file. So that's it for this video. See you in the next video. For more such interesting videos, please subscribe to our channel Head Start Learning.